Hey, so I'm back over here at the chicken house and I've been trying to clear up some stumps and stuff where we had some uh, some of the trees bulldozed and cleared out uh, last year and uh, I never got around to you know getting up all of the old stumps and rocks and stuff so I've been over here doing that and you can kind of see there was some hills and stuff that I knocked down and um, but this is over here where I was doing the chainsawing and uh, so I thought, you know, I wanted to go ahead and make my trail down to the campsite. And I'm going to tell you, those tires are not meant for, like, going in any kind of mud. I got down there, and it was, it's right next to the creek, and it was so damp that I got it in there and got it stuck, and it took me a good hour just to, just to get her, uh, everything moved out of the way, and, and I had to dig out a bunch of dirt and fill in some holes, um, just to get it out, so... Definitely not going to take that back down in there because um, I don't even know how I'd get it out if I got it stuck again. So, um, but I'll take you down to the creek and show you kind of where uh, I'm wanting to uh, put the campsite. So, we'll walk down here. And then if you remember from the chainsawing video, this is where I was. Um where uh, that first tree had fallen and I chopped up most of it. I used the skid steer and dug the rest of that tree up and kind of pushed it off to the side so I'd have room to get in here. But yeah, so I'm gonna walk on down here and I'll, uh, I'll continue once I'm down here. And it's not, you know, it's not rained in a few days. It's gotten pretty dry, but down in here, it's still pretty wet. Um, you know, I, I wish I had a, I wish I had some tracks on my skid steer. Probably the next one I buy, I'm gonna buy one that's got the tracks on it. I think if I, if I had that, maybe a little bit bigger of a skid steer, I could, I could easily have done this, but I was just starting to get really nervous about whether or not I was gonna come back out. So here's the here's where I had um, started down through here. Now this all used to be like a big hole where it had been washing out. So I pushed some dirt back over, but you can see this is this is mud. So I got it down in here and couldn't back up, so I just ran over a bunch of trees with it. And you can kind of see I made a big mess. Um but yeah, I got I, I managed to get it on down in here, and here's where I had been digging out dirt to fill in this hole so I could get back out. But yeah, that was a mess, and I was trying to push this tree down there so it'd be out of my way. Um, and I couldn't make it back up through here. I don't know, I guess it was too slick, so I ended up having to go back up through in between those trees, and I was worried I was going to get hung up on those trees, but... I don't know where the best place would be down in here to to build the site. It doesn't have to have, be like a full road that's down here. I'm just going to build a little trail for the Viking to get through. But I thought maybe over in here somewhere where it's flat and kind of right on the creek would be nice. Maybe somewhere in that. Um, but here's the creek. It's a nice sized creek. I think it'd be neat and then maybe build some uh, little stone, a little stone stairwell that just goes down into the creek so the kids can get down in there and play. That'd be pretty cool. And we don't really have any deep places in this creek. I wish we did or I'd put, put up a rope. So that's kind of how my days went. Um, I really wish that I had been able to get in here and clean out a spot with a skid steer. Um, but so I guess I'll just have to clear it out. I'm probably bring my chainsaw down here and 
saw up some stuff. Um, but there's a lot of little stumps and things that's in the ground where trees have fallen, like right here. So, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll try and take a video of it with the GoPro of like me clearing out the area. And there's this other big tree that's fallen across the creek. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I've walked across it. It's a nice little bridge, but it's in the way uh, out here. So I'll probably need to cut it up too. So little by little, hopefully in a week or so I can go camping. I'll see you later.